It's almost summer, which means summer reading at your Rowlett Public Library kicks off soon, which is perfect timing because today I have two of my favorite librarians here with me on this episode of the My Rowlett Podcast to talk about summer reading and to share more library resources with you all. We did a part one back in the fall, so definitely check out that episode after you listen to this one. But yes, welcome back to the show, Nancy and Colton. So happy to have you again. Ah, so happy to be back. We are. Yay. Always fun to be back. Always fun. We had such a fun time and we have so much more to share with you all. And we have summer reading kicking off. So who wants to share first? Kick it off with us. What is summer reading? When does it start? Give me all the details. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So the summer reading, it's the bigger, it's the better. <gasps> it's the 2023 Woo! summer reading. The yes. crowd goes wild. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's a party at the library. <laughs> exactly. It's Starting perfect. June 3rd. Yeah, pretty much. Perfect. <laughs> yep, so June 3rd, we're going to do our kickoff. We'll be at our same little grassy spot, and we will have bounce houses. We have wow. the texas surveyors coming out and so they're going to bring out a lot of their equipment and uh they're going to try and bring out some of their drones um so you can see how those operate wow and, and, and these aren't the little drones these no. are like industrial industrial drones. Drones. yes these, Great. these survey so every time you see like a one of these high-rise buildings go up mm -hmm. or um, a large industrial complex. These are the drones that they use to do the geographical survey. Great. So do I get to fly one or do we just get to watch them? Like, I think we're going to watch around? them <laughs> because it. apparently okay. there's only one guy in all of Texas who's allowed to touch them wow. and he happens to be moving to our area. Oh, cool. So. We'll definitely check that out. What time? So June 3rd is the big kickoff. And so those yes. who don't know, what do you do at the kickoff besides bounce houses, fly drones potentially. <laughs> so at our mean? kickoff, yes. so our kickoff, or we're calling it our opening ceremony, because oh. this year's theme is all about camping. <gasps> we are going to read beyond the beaten path <laughs> this year. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and so with our kickoff, of course, if you pre-register, you will be able to come and pick up your packets and that will have your reading logs off in it which will tell you all of the activities we're doing all this summer and give you a chance to track all your reading. The other thing is that if you haven't pre-registered, that's okay. You can register on site with us and we will still get you all your packets and all of your little goodies. Great. And so, like I said, bounce houses, music, games, and we have a special treat this year. <gasps> Mermaids. <The> Mermaids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But instead, um, for all of our kids who do show up, we do have free In-N-Out Burger this what? year. What? Okay. So the big In-N-Out truck will be here. <gasps> so come on out. You can get your burger cooked up. Nice. Hot so and fresh. So fun. <gasps> yes. Yay. That's exciting. We're excited. And so, um, but mostly our kickoff is just a chance to one giant hurrah to let you know. Summer has officially started, y'all. So fun. So you mentioned pre-registration. That yes. is open now, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Awesome. So rowlett.com slash library. You can find that link there. We'll have mm -hmm. it in the show notes, but pre-register that way your packet's ready to go, or That's you right. might have to wait in a really long line to register yes. there. <laughs> yes. Perfect. So let's talk about the theme, Camp Beyond a Book. What do you have planned within that theme? Like, what can we expect? What does that even mean? <laughs> okay, so this year we're going to do different camps. So each week that you come, we have a different theme camp for that week. So our first week will be a STEAM week. So that's our science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And so all of our activities that we do that week will be geared towards that. But each week we have different themes. So like there's a space camp theme, there's a band camp theme, there's a scouting camp theme, there's a culinary week where you, we're going to do cooking. And um, then we also have a sleepaway camp. So what most people think of as a traditional summer camp kind of right. theme. And um, 
Plus, we're also bringing back our teen tech camp as well. So oh, that was cool. our four-day camps that we had for our teens that um, were very STEM heavy. So mm-hmm. once again, we're bringing back the robotics. We're bringing back the coding. And um, they're going to get a chance to do like some general crafts. So some things that they had mentioned they wanted to do this year, like a chance to work with clay and leatherworking and wow. try a little chemistry experimenting. So That is amazing. And so how long does summer reading last and all the events last? Several weeks, one month? What are are we looking at? It's seven weeks of fun. Wow. Yep. So we're going to start June 3rd, and then we're going to keep on rolling right until our closing ceremony on July 29th. Okay. And what does the closing ceremony look like? Is there in and out too? Or <laughs> <laughs> No, we switched to something much cooler. We're going to switch to Kona Ice. Oh, fun. Yes. Perfect. So, so end of that ceremony will be you turn in your reading logs and do all of that. Yes. Is that correct? Okay, so great. They'll turn in their reading logs. We will announce all of our grand prize winners that we've done a drawing for. We also have two other drawings that we're doing as well. Oh, and then, because I said this was a bigger, more uh, summer reading, we have another challenge this year. Oh! So this year we are pitting the age groups against each other, and we have our hiker challenge. Ooh. So we have lots of people who love to read. Mm-hmm. And so while we have our minimum requirements for each week, uh, we have decided that those who want to read more and love to read more, you should be rewarded for that. So that's your opportunity. So every 20 minutes that you read past your weekly <clears throat> amount, we will put it towards your age group. And so we we have our little hiker who's going to be set up in our activity room and he's going to move along the path. <gasps> so adults, every 20 minutes you read past your one hour, we'll move your adult hiker along. Cool. And all of the teens, every 20 minutes you read past your three hours, we'll move the hiker along. And the same thing goes for our 5 to 12s as well. And so in the end, we shall see who reads more Mm -hmm. by the end. And then we'll have a prize for that age group that we'll give at our uh, closing ceremony as well. So cool. So in addition to that competition, is there a winner for each category? Or what, what other challenges or prizes are there for those who might be new to the summer reading program? So every time that you attend one of our programs and every week when you turn in your reading log, you will be given a ticket that has uh, been designed by our Colton here, our tech genius. (laughs) Tech genius. (laughs) And it will give you an opportunity to uh, choose which one of our 10 grand prize packages that you would like to be put in the entry for. Gotcha. And then a on that day when we do our closing ceremony, that's when we're going to draw one out for each of the different prize packages. Okay. Do you have to be present to win? That's a very important. You do not. Oh, so good to it know. It is important. It's important to be there. Yes. <laughs> it's important to be there. So you can take your goodies home and enjoy them immediately. <laughs> right. But we will store them for you until you get back from that great vacation. Right. That you're probably taking. But, <laughs> well, they're out of camp. So taking- <laughs> yeah, or you could be in a camp. I don't know. Awesome. Yeah. Well, and plus, too, with all that, while we've got the, the grand prizes stuff, there's still the weekly, you know, when you do your log and you mm-hmm. turn it in for, for that week, there's still going to be some type of, while while we have them, while, su- while supplies <laughs> live, um, yeah. we'll still have that weekly little tchotchke, you know, toy, whatever that looks like. Oh, so fun. there'll still be something small for that week's log and then everything else, whether it's a program, even the extra reading, we were talking about the hiker and everything. Even as you do that for every hour of that that you do, we're also going to be giving you an extra grand prize ticket for that. Wow. So there's a, it moves itself along. Yes. So you could have more chances to win. We want to increase those odds so that they are ever in your favor. Right. <laughs> be rewarded for reading more. That's right. So what are some of the prizes? Can you give us a little sneak peek on the My Rowlet podcast? What potentially we could win or they could win? Um, yes, actually. Um, so one of the prizes that we have um, for our younger campers is we do actually have um, like an indoor playset. So it's, oh. yeah, this one's got like a little climbing wall. It's got a slide and it's got a little swing attached to it. Wow. So, you know, rainy days indoors <laughs> right. just became the best thing ever. 
Um, for our more crafty people, we are giving away another Cricut packet this year Ooh. as well. Um, we have a bass guitar set for our musically inclined. And we also have a few other items that are more STEM related okay. um, and educational in nature. And then we have um, a few like relaxing spa sort of packages that oh, wow. a few of our moms or dads right. might enjoy, get a little quiet time away. And um, I forget with author, we added to it because I don't read romance. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> there were some book packs, I think. I think there's some Colleen Hoover in one of those. Colleen Hoover's been wildly popular these days, so I'm I'm yeah. I'm thinking I saw some of those come in. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a shoot 'em up. I know that doesn't <laughs> sound very relaxing, but if it doesn't involve bullets or lasers, I'm You're not in. Uh, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Whatever. Well, we know it's on your summer reading list. That's right. <laughs> Awesome. Well, Colton, what are you looking forward to most in the summer reading program? So what, one of the things that we have really worked on, like last summer we sat back and we basically, like August, we all kind of sat down. It's just like, what did we like? And one of the things, like we were, honestly, we were over the moon for weeks because so many people came to the library. Mm -hmm. So many people were excited about being in the library, excited about the reading program and excited to see other people in the library. Yeah. Um, but if you were there last year, like there were a lot of people in the library and, um, you know, we, there was a, uh, one of my favorite conversations from last year, one of our regular patrons was by and was doing prize claims for her kids and Nancy was out front. I was out front and Lauren, uh, our children's librarian was out front and we were talking and we were telling her just about like just how surprised we were at the number of people. And she's like, oh, that's great. You all must be sleeping really well at night. And all three of us just started laughing. Um, <laughs> just like, no, we're, we're, we're running about, you know, four and a half, five hours of sleep a night wow. if, we're, if we're lucky because that's how much is going on. So we really sat back to make sure that we could handle all of that. Mm. Um, to that end and kind of what Nancy alluded to is we've taken some, some steps to help move things along on the back end. So um, the process of coming in and claiming, you know, signing up, the process of, you know, getting your log and claiming that prize and all of that should go way faster. Right. Um, we're not having to sit and all get carpal tunnel handwriting, <laughs> <laughs> you know, ha handwriting those grand prize tickets, yeah. you know, that stuff that we can print um, right there on the spot on demand Amazing. for what we need to. And all of that will just move stuff along, like all of the logs, we're going to make sure mm -hmm. that we've got ways to pull those up faster. So we've kind of built a back end and a little bit of an infrastructure. Nothing changes for, the, for anybody out front. There's no, there's no perceptible change on, you know, the user side in terms of um, anything they've got to do different. Mm -hmm. You've still got your cool log book. It's going to look very, it's a little different form than last year. It's going to look very similar. Um, Ooh, but we have an example. We have, examples yeah, we too. have an example. If you're watching on YouTube. Wow. <gasps> It. Yep. Who did the art? Did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> no, we. Lauren does most of our in-house art. Wow, for us, so. that's beautiful. Yep. Yep. Thank and we're you, trying Lauren. to help you out too, man. Look, we even told you <gasps> what each of our weeks are. Perfect. The there it is. There's the for. cheat sheet. <laughs> yes. So we have STEM camp. We have sleepaway camp. We have animal camp. Oh, that'll be fun. Scout camp. Culinary camp. Band camp. And ending on space camp. Wow. Yes. Y'all do not miss these camps. <laughs> telling you. So fun. There's so much thought. I didn't realize how much thought goes into each one of them. So you have your packet, you have your week, and then for a lot, I want to see what the log looks like. Oh. So just for those who've never done our summer reading program, we're going to walk you through this whole thing. Great. Why not? Why so not? We've broken it down by the activities for each month. And so the first thing you're going to come to is your June calendar. Perfect. Now, this is our folder for our 5 to 12s. So it tells you what activities are for 5 to 12 and what are all ages. Um, because if I showed you, say, the teen. You will notice that 
the calendars ah, are different. So okay. the teens know what stuff they're going to, and they don't yes. have to put up with their little siblings. Right. <laughs> and then the littles know what stuff they get to go to and not put up with um, all of their older brothers and sisters and cousins. Right, right. And then mom can see what family fun things we're going to have everybody do as a family. Yes. So, or dad or grandma or auntie or uncle, you know. Whoever, yes, whoever, all of the whoever. above. And it's color coordinated. Yes. That is so awesome. Beautiful. Yes. And then if we keep going, ta-da. Ah, okay, So as perfect. you can see, here's your weekly reading challenge. And then here's your bonus to move your little hiker. Gotcha, move the hiker. Yes. So great. Now, our 5 to 12s are the only ones who get an option. They can either read for time or they can actually read 20 different books, but do not um, duplicate a title. Okay. Good to know. Yes. Do not cheat. No. Nope. <laughs> 20 individual unique titles. Yes. Great. And then, um, now, I will say this, though. If you read to your siblings or your cousins, that counts. Oh, good so to know. Parents, good tip. Mm-hmm. This counts if you read to your kids. <gasps> wow. And then um, we also put in a couple of extras. Those were always fun. Everybody loved them. Great. I will say our team is looking forward to hearing a few jokes from some of our patrons. <laughs> okay. <year. laughs> we'll have to come back and do a joke podcast. We, <laughs> yes. We'll have to see who the big winners who are. Who the big winners are. Yes. Perfect. So you might be featured on the Myrella podcast. So get your jokes ready. <laughs> That's right. For the granddad of all dad jokes. <laughs> we're going to crown them. Perfect. And then one of the things we did add this year, too, is we added a genre challenge. So this is a chance for people to kind of go beyond their usual reading scope. So like I said, I'm not one for romance. I'm more for a good shoot 'em up mm -hmm. good car chase. But I will read a mystery for a button, okay? But no I am romance. A, no romance. Maybe. I, I might get through the first chapter. <laughs> If I read the first chapter and the last chapter, does that count? That's, yeah, that's all you need to know, right? Okay. <laughs> Do they end up together? That's all we care about. Oh, we know they end up together. <laughs> so that that is one of the other things that we added this year is so you get a chance to collect all the different buttons that we have. So each week is themed differently to go along with our themes for camps as well. So because our first week is STEM, we chose mystery, and you get a chance to... Try out a good mystery. Cool. Um, now, our teens and an adults, they get something, another little extra besides, you know, being able to tell us a good dad joke and the mystery challenges. But what we've also added for them is we have kind of like a little web crawl. So oh, the QR cool. codes will take you to different websites. And then there are questions to answer. You can put them in your book or you can go on our website and fill in the answers. And those also earn you an extra raffle ticket as well. Great. But as you can see, everybody can read a mystery because we mm -hmm. kept them all the same for the genre challenges. And oh. then they also get to do their regular reading and then they can do their extra for their little hiker. Wonderful. Yes. 20 minutes is not long. I was expecting you have to read an hour a day for this program. So oh, no. you just need to do 20 minutes. I might enter this. Wow. Okay. Let's see if I win the, the guitar set. Let's yeah. Go <laughs> for it. All yeah. right. <laughs> I'm going to start rocking out. Me. <laughs> not competitive at all. Um, that's, that's so cool. Okay. So everyone gets a folder based on their age groups. Yes. And that will be again at the opening ceremony on June mm -hmm. 3rd, which is a Saturday. Yes. Awesome. But, this is so yeah. organized. But you can, too, with the sign-ups, while we are doing the pre-registration, like, we'll sign you up there the third, and you can keep signing up after that. Like, so if you yeah. don't Good make it know. in, the main, you know, the main thing is if you pre-register, um, which that's going to be up, and it will kind of briefly disappear because we'll have your logs and everything mm -hmm. ready to go in a pack for you. Um, but after that, you can still keep signing up. So if you miss it, if you if you don't, if you're not hearing us until until the l later on, um, then you're still going to be able to come sign up online, come by the library, and we'll get you signed up, whatever the case may be. Great. Um, and we'll, we'll we'll get you taken care of. So yay, yeah. good to know. Thank you for adding that. Yeah, and we also have a slight extension on claiming your weekly prize as well. We understand that cramp, 
uh, you know, a lot of kids wind up at camp grandma and grandpa for a while. Mm -hmm. Um, So just keep reading while you're there. And then when you come back in, we can see about catching you up on your weekly prizes and also on your grand prize tickets for the raffle as well. So you don't have to feel like you have to stay in Rowlett. Right. You can leave. (laughs) Yes. You're free to move about the country. You you can go other places. And similarly, you don't have to be reading our books. That's, that's, that's another thing that I'll, I'll inevitably get a few questions on. It's just like, now do, now do I have to read books from here? It's just like, no, read any book you got, um, read a newspaper article. We are, it's timed reading. So if you're, if you're reading the newspaper, guess what? You're reading. Um, another one that pe- that people get into is audiobooks. Well, that yeah. is that, that is reading a book. Oh, okay. So, so if you're plowing through your audiobooks on the way, you know, your morning commute or bringing the kids to and from school, whatever it is, you're doing that. Guess what? You just spent that time reading. It counts. It yes. is over for y'all. If audiobooks are perfect, now yes. I know. Audiobooks. I'm, I'm going to win the adult category <laughs> for those listening. <laughs> We're gonna have to create another thing. There's gonna there's gonna be the five to twelve teens, adults, and Hannah. <laughs> yes, yes. And and for all of my fellow college students out there, all of those textbooks that you are reading, all of those articles that you are having summer to read, classes. Yes, yes, they count. It <gasps> all counts. So, I mean, well, I have there some competition no then. <laughs> there is no right. excuse. <laughs> no excuse whatsoever. The first rule of summer reading is it's all reading. It's That's all right. Reading. <laughs> Love that. Is there anything else that we want to touch on about summer reading before we talk about a couple more resources that we didn't get to in our last episode together? Um, um, you yeah. want to you hit uh, uh, the split between the teen and adult? Um, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah we have well, a new program coming on board. Yeah, we got a we got a new program. We we, wow. we we looked at last year, and the teen tech camp was so successful. We figured we'd do a, an adult camp too. Yes. So cool. Yeah. Tell us so more. The adults get their own version of teen tech camp, which was where the teens got to meet from Monday through Thursday for a two hour time block to work on a project. And so for the adults, we're bringing on their version and it is called he shed, she shed. <gasps> And so we're going to do woodworking. We're going to work with crickets. We're going to work with sublimation printing. We're going to work with the 3D printers ourselves. Oh, fun. Um, and the 3D pens. So this will be the adult chance to kind of get your hands dirty, do some deep dive into some projects so and learn cool. about new technology for some people. Yes, that's amazing. And so is that ha- how many times is that happening over the summer? So we're going to let the kids have June. Perfect. So Teen Tech Camp runs um, during June. And then um, July 3rd, the adults take over with the he shed, she shed. Gotcha. And so it'll be the adult's turn to actually do the projects. <gasps> Fun. Her, and of course, all this will be in our show notes, so don't have to write anything down. You right. can go look there or at the library, social media pages, and the website. But that's so, I love that the adults are included as well. So oh, everyone's yes. going to camp this summer. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> I couldn't wait to break out my power tools. So I, yes, like, I'm ready. <laughs> I've got all my batteries charged. We, we are going to do this. I used to do the summer reading stuff, um, not at Rowlett, but at my prior library and summer reading is an undertaking to get Mm -hmm. i mean you can tell there's there's a lot here this is this is like months of 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 work from it from everybody and 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 hours and hours and hours and hours of stuff um and and we're really really excited about this one like oh yeah we are we are stoked (gasps) oh yeah because we've got lots of good visitors coming out as well oh some special guests oh yeah we have uh museum of flight is coming out and (gasps) they're going to um bring their what do they call that big fluffy thing projects on the ceiling um at any rate so we've got them coming out. We've got a mission to Mars where you get to solve how you're going to get off of Mars with limited supplies. Um, oh, almost like an escape room, but you have to yes. escape off of Mars. Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> and then um, Prairie Land Raptors is coming out. So you get to see all of the great raptors that they have. And of course, Cindy Cavallini will be back. I don't know if she's bringing that ever so cute chinchilla back with her. <gasps> But oh, she's the animal lady. Okay, yes, yes. she's our animal lady. Oh, fun! 
Wow. Oh, I'm telling you, that chinchilla came out, and I think 20 children almost just, like, were about to be given away. <laughs> just so they could have, so the parents could have that chinchilla. He was adorable. Aww. And he was so soft. Aww. So like cute. fur babies. Yes. Yes. Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, yay. Well, I'm so excited. Y'all are so excited about it. And thank you to all the library staff who are listening. Thank you so much for all the hard work and labor that went into creating this wonderful program that y'all do pretty much every year. So stay tuned, definitely join. And I'm excited to see who wins some of these prizes. So stay tuned. We'll share more as the weeks go on and all that. Yes. Anything else before we touch on more resources that y'all, we can get from the library? It's on the website. Yeah. com backslash summer reading. Perfect. Perfect. Get all of it. All of it. Sign up. Pre-register if you can. Yes. <laughs> Remember, it's hot in Texas. You right. want a shorter line. Exactly. <laughs> you want to make sure you get to in and out before everyone else does. That's right. <laughs> While supplies last. While supplies last. Yes. Awesome. So while you were, when you were here last time, we definitely talked a lot about different resources. So what are some, um, I have a couple of a couple three, I think we're going to touch on today. Um, so let's talk about, um, e ebook service. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. what is the ebook service and how can we use that? So we actually have a new one. Um, we're just adding it. It's coming online. Uh, I think the switch got flipped last week, so it's live now. Wow, okay. Um, we've got um, our existing ebook services, um, Overdrive slash Libby. Um, we've got Hoopla. We've mm -hmm. got Canopy. They're not going away, but we are adding this new one called Cloud Library. Oh, um, okay. And uh, Cloud Library is, uh, uh, it is, they're all a little bit different from each other, um, but this is ebooks and e audiobooks. Um, we are in a group with five or six dozen other libraries. Um, so this brings on what we've got plus like 240,000 items. Wow. Plus yes. that come from the, the group holdings. So this is adding a ton of stuff that's going to be, you know, available for people to check out. Um, just like the others, you sign in with your, with your library card and your PIN number. My next question. <laughs> yep. So how do we access that? So it's live now. Do you mm -hmm. have like the website or any, maybe not on top of your head, but. Um, so you can actually get there by going, there's going to be a couple of ways. We're getting stuff hooked into to our catalog still on that side. Great. Um, but you can access it directly now if you go to uh, yourcloudlibrary.com, I believe is the website. Yes. Okay. Um, and if you head there, you'll be able to go and it's going to give you some drop downs where you tell the country you're in and the state. And gotcha. Then, and then you can select us from the list of like libraries in Texas, but that'll take you into uh, our holdings and it's a really streamlined interface, um, very simple to use um, and just sign in with your library card and your PIN number. Wow, so I would go there if, let's see, you now since I've listened to the last episode or was on the last episode, I'm, I'm on Hoopla now, that is my new thing. So nice. I, if so, if I can't find something on Hoopla, would that be then the iCloud, the cloud library, or why would someone use the cloud library versus the other resources that y'all already have? Just um, in case there's something not on there? Yeah, or, I mean, okay. it's, it's just like, um, just like in kind of with anything, you're going to get slightly different collections, slightly different gotcha. holdings. Um, you know, kind of like Hoopla, that collection, we have a lot less control over, but like cloud mm -hmm. library, you know, we can purchase titles directly for that. Okay. So it is going to be a little bit different from 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 the others. Um, right now, we've added. I think we've added a pretty good amount of audiobooks in there. Okay. So great. I know we've got a lot of streaming audio listeners. So we're getting extra stuff there. Um, but the the collections are a little bit different. Plus, like the Overdrive collection, that's in a group with certain number of libraries. Mm -hmm. This is in a group with with some matching, but different libraries. So you end up with different materials available. And also sometimes maybe somebody's got something you want checked out over here, but you can find it over here. Gotcha. So. Well, that's exciting. And y'all are doing trainings. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. um, yes. This week or next week? I think it's this week. This week. This yeah. week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So definitely check out on y'all social media posts and we'll put those dates in the show notes if you're interested in learning more how to navigate that app. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Um, uh, the twenty fifth, uh, thir this Thursday, um, we'll be at ten a.m. and then six p uh, six thirty p.m. Right. And then on Saturday, the twenty eighth, we'll we'll be uh, back doing another one at two p.m. 
Great. So we'll kind of walk people through. Um, you can get apps. They've got apps for iOS and Android. Right. Um, they uh, don't know of anything beyond that, but you still can read on just direct from the browser mm-hmm. if you go to their website. Excellent. Um, so. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. excited for that. More resources yeah. expanding what we can actually check yeah. out. That and, is yeah. so exciting. And, 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 you know, the circulation is uh, kind of how the usage is very much like if you've used Overdrive, if you've used Libby, that we've that we've got five items at a time. So just like that. Um, and then you can return stuff, check stuff out, put stuff on hold. Same process. Mm-hmm. Great. But it doesn't limit you to the five per month like Hoopla does. Ah, right. gotcha. So the faster you read it and return it, the faster you can check more stuff out. Great. No limit. No limit. <laughs> awesome. What? Uh, what? So anything else on, is called Cloud Library? Cloud yes. Library. Okay, I will get that one day. <laughs> cloud <laughs> Library. I'm going to keep on saying iCloud Library. Yes. Just Cloud Library. Okay. Lots, lots of computer clouds. Clouds, clouds the cloud thing with the computers. Cloud everywhere. <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, that is live, so definitely check that out. Go to a training if you're interested. Um, what other resources did y'all want to talk about today? I have, I see STEM kits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe before we jump there, kits, it would sorry. be it would be helpful because I know there's been some confusion with OverDrive recently. Mm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Let's address that. Yeah. Because OverDrive um, has been working towards for several years like kind of ending like the overdrive name sort of um like the company overdrive exists but they've been using the libby app and we always recommend to people to use the libby app right way easier um way more streamlined a lot you know i i've never heard anybody go like man i wish this i wish this was like the overdrive app (laughs) no (laughs) like it is so much it's just that much easier to use way more robust and so much more yeah. user friendly. Oh, okay, that's um, good. And to that end, some of the OverDrive branded apps are being deprecated. They're losing support. They're getting phased out. So if you're using like iOS, if you're using Android, um, Libby is the thing that you can use now. The OverDrive app doesn't doesn't work anymore. Gotcha. Um, they're the same collection. It's all the same stuff. Just looks different. Just looks yes. a little different. Easier to use. Um, if you are on like a Kindle. Um, like a Kindle Fire, they've actually just put out uh, an app, a Libby app for that. It's kind of been a long time coming. Wow. But you can get that in the Kindle Fire store. You can download it um, and do the whole side load process if you know how to do that with the Kindles. You can download it direct from the OverDrive website. Wow. So you That's can huge. It wow. It's a big deal. Having said that, and this is where the confusion comes okay. in. <laughs> so we're having a clarifying moment yes. here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. If, if you have like a Kindle, like a paper white, or a Kobo or one of those kind of e-ink readers, um, you know, that don't have the fancy screens. They've just got the the black and mm-hmm. white, and it, and it's a lot easier on your eyes, and it's really helpful. Those still require the OverDrive stuff. So the OverDrive kind of service still exists um, so that products like that can be run. But that's one of those things they put out, and there's a whole lot of stuff in between everybody's different devices. Mm-hmm. OverDrive still exists. Libby is OverDrive. You might be using Libby on your device now instead of OverDrive, but it's all the same, all the same thing. Gotcha. And if you're using one of those devices that you can't get Libby on, support. go see you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come yeah. to the no, library seriously. and come get by, some. Yeah, come yeah. by and see us. We'll, we'll ask for we'll, Colton. Yeah, we'll, we'll help. <laughs> yeah. We'll help help get everything sorted out for you. But there's there is going to be a way on if you were using OverDrive or Libby, there's a way for you to still use OverDrive and Libby. So, gotcha. Well, thank you. I will definitely come see you when I get my uh, Kindle. (laughs) (laughs) Awesome. Okay, was there anything else that you wanted to touch on with that? Mm -hmm. No, that was pretty much it for that one. Yeah, it's just, it's adding way more to our collection, um, way more variety, way more opportunity. So it's, you know, without having to wait for interlibrary loan. Right. (gasps) Exciting. Yay. Yay. Okay, is it STEM, STEAM? Am I mispronouncing that? What is it? What, how so would you say So there are two different versions. Gotcha. Earlier, uh, everybody is more familiar with STEM, mm-hmm. which was the science, technology, engineering, and math. Now, being a fellow art teacher, we felt that the world needed a little more zhuzhing. Always, yeah. Always. <laughs> And so you now have STEAM, which is where you add the science, technology, engineering, art, 
and math. Gotcha. Because honestly, when you do art, there is a lot of math. There is a lot of engineering. Ask any person who does sculpture or any person mm-hmm. who does clay. Um, there's lots of math. You're always having to figure out calculations for, you know, heights, dimensions, mm-hmm. volumes, uh, mixtures. Um, of course, I say this because I used to also be in chemistry, but um, it's all art. Right. Right. And art encompasses so many of those things. Now, um, if we really want to blow people's mind and confuse them, there is also now stream where you have the (laughs) science, technology, reading, Ah, engineering, art and math. (laughs) Wow. So many acronyms. So many acronyms. (laughs) All the acronyms. All the acronyms. (laughs) <laughs> but um, yeah, so our kits are steam kits, steam uh, kits with the, yes. with the A, with the with A, with the art. Okay, because we do actually have a few art kits that go along with awesome. our collection. Awesome, cool. And I believe Colton, you brought one of our yes. Our we have a real life steam kit. Yes, <gasps> with Slide us today. In. If you're not li- if you're not watching on YouTube, wow, it is a plastic box. Okay, wow. Yeah, so we've got um, a lot of the kits that we've got, well, all the kits that we've got come in some type of a tub like this. So okay. they're they're heavy duty um, and, you know, make sure that they can, we can send them out to person after person after person. Right. Um, but with these, um, we brought one over here. This one's called The Shape of Things, and this one involves geometry gotcha. and... Um, uh, various types of like shapes and spatial stuff our kits cover a wide variety of age groups um so some of them are really suited for like kind of that you know kindergarten first grade Mm -hmm. you know that really elementary four to six you know four to eight years old then some of them run up into the upper elementary some of them run up into into teen years and we've even got some family kits um but kind of the process with these like this kit right here most of our kits are going to have some type of a, of a book with them. This is one of the, the ones that skews a little younger because gotcha. um, we're dealing with like shapes and geometry, but mm-hmm. we'll have some type of a related book. Then we're going to have a couple different projects. So, you know, and things in here. So like we've got a, a, a kit here with some, with some like shape stencils and templates and, so and things. Cool. Um, we've got a set in here with geo- different types of pull this one out first like we've got a, a building set um with so yeah geom- it says geometric shapes building set yeah. this is so, so cool. this is stuff that you can play with it and, and a lot of these things it's play learning gotcha. you know, that's that's it it is a very kinetic you're hands-on you're having fun um and then here we've also got just like a box with with a variety of shapes in it so you can recognize the shapes play with them build with them Amazing. And so you can check these out. Mm-hmm. So you just go to the library, check these out, and then you can take it home. Can you do it at the library if you wanted to? Sure. <laughs> if you wanted we to. We won't stop you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but the point of them is so that you can take it home. Um, several of our homeschool groups have found them very useful to use mm-hmm. uh, to that, yes. supplement any of their instruction that they're doing. Um I I don't see why, as a former teacher, you couldn't do the same thing for your classroom. Um, It's just that uh, we do have a slightly stricter requirement on how it's brought back. So you can't just shove it through our book drop when you're done with it. Um, They do have to be physically handed to a person to check it in for you. And um, our fines are a lot different for them than a book because there's so many components. Right. So be Um, cautious when you're checking it out. (laughs) Yes. I mean, it's very similar to the hotspot procedure. I was going to ask, yeah. Adult card holders need need to be the ones checking it out. Just like kind of like the hotspot, there's going to be some type of uh, uh, an agreement form where you're basically acknowledging that these are the things in here. Here, we provide everybody with with nice content lists so you know you're going to be able to see pictorially this is what i'm I getting this mm-hmm. is what this is what's going to need to come back that way you're playing with it it's you know you're getting it together to bring back you can spot like these are the what's things. missing yes yeah. exactly um but very similar like i said very similar to the hotspot policy um in in terms of of that um and we'll check and we'll make sure that everything's mm-hmm. there and 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 then we can you know if something doesn't come back and go hey you know maybe check and see if you've got a couple of these 
of these blocks and and we've had that happen a couple yep. times and everybody's just like oh yeah i'll go look at home and they come come back a day or two later and just like yeah we found them we found it perfect yep. this is so cool so you said there is a variety so this is just one example that mm -hmm. we have yes. with us today and this you said this is geared towards younger um children mm -hmm. so it goes all the way up to like a teeny if you have a teenager at home or if you're a teenager listening you can go check out something that's a little bit more age appropriate mm -hmm. that is so cool and this is all year round this is not even a summer mm -hmm. reading no. this is you can come to the library anytime y'all are open yep. um, and pick one of these up this is yeah yeah so cool because yeah. we include uh we have one that's uh got family games in it mm -hmm. as well so you can have a game night with your family what? um like i said there's a couple of art kits uh the the one that everybody loves is our uh money one yeah the money one's cool what is the money one um so it does have a little little atm that comes with it and you do load it with our little fake money <laughs> And um, it's got coins and bills, and basically it's a good way to learn um, money math. Oh, um, wow. Yep, and I think it even has, like, a little debit card that you mm -hmm. stick in there <gasps> so yeah. that really? you, yeah, in order oh, to get so your little money cool. out. So, um, yeah, we wanted to bring that one, but it just came back. It's very popular. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Awesome. So. Is there like a wait? So with the Wi-Fi hotspot, there's also sometimes waiting lists. Mm -hmm. Are there waiting lists for these kits sometimes? Yeah. Or? Wow. Yeah. Um, and that's right now we have, I believe, 17 available. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, currently, we do have some more that we're going to be that we're going to be getting out. Um, but there's a pretty wide variety. And, you know, it's I've noticed some, you know, it kind of comes and goes. People cycle through them and they, mm -hmm. they work their way through the kits. So, um, you know, we are having people put, put these on hold and you totally can put them on hold. Wow. Um, it is one at a time per, per household, kind of like the, like it is with the hotspots. Um, but you can have one on hold and then bring one back and we'll check out the next one. So gotcha. <gasps> I love this. I had no idea we had this. This is so cool. Anything oh, yeah. else that we want to touch on with the steam kits? No. Yeah. Other than check them out. Check them out. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Enjoy them. I'm excited Learn about this them. game yeah. night one. I'm going to definitely have to check that out. Oh, yeah. Love yeah, a it's good game really night. cool. Yeah. Yeah, because awesome. I think that's the one that also has, like, the uh, home version of an escape room. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. So. There's some cool stuff in them. There's there's that. Um, it's got, uh, uh, like, there's a fun fun game in there that's, uh, what's the name of it? Horrified. It's, it's based on, like, the classic Universal Monsters. So there's that. There's there's a Disney theme. <laughs> I yeah. love scary games. <laughs> scary. Um, there's a, a, a Disney a Disney related. I can't remember. Uh, Disney's villainous. I think is in there. Oh, so cool. It's kind of a Disney villain themed game. So, um, but yeah. yeah, we've got we've got ones on. See, there's kind of a, an anatomy one for kids with like a brain oh, and a yes. heart model. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, the brain. interesting. Yeah. Oh, fun. Yeah. Um, and they like come apart so you can see like the inside all diagrammed. And we've got a yeah. couple different coding ones like for young ages. Not not like you're going to sit and like be writing Python or right. like anything like that. Um, but like for young ages where yeah. it's kind of an intro to coding in terms of like how to work step-by-step -step processes and like little kind of kits that where you can effectively program a little robot to do something so that is so cool yeah we've got some really cool ones and and there's stuff for even younger kids too like learning to spell letter and number recognition mm -hmm. and so we've got just that whole swath that is a great this is a great thing i love this how long have we had this has this been around a while um Fairly new? no actually we started these back in the fall okay good yeah. so these are yeah. more more new yeah. okay i think mm -hmm. the first ones went out maybe december november mm -hmm. or december is when the first gotcha. couple went out and we've been working them through and putting them out so amazing yep. Yep. Well, definitely so you can just go to the front desk be like hey can i see mm -hmm. your steam kits and they'll know what you're talking about and yep great yep. <gasps> and you can find them in the catalog too just if you're if you go to the catalog either from our our website if either direct relic.bibliotics.com or if you go to relic.com slash library and click into the catalog just search steam kit and they'll all pop up great mm -hmm. Yep. Awesome. Anything else that we want to? Oh, we just we did also put a um, just recently um, one of the services we talked about last time, um, TechShare, which has the online databases. Mm -hmm. One of the things that's been added oh, in yeah. there is access to Udemy, 
which is, oh, uh, wow. which what? is, uh, yes, yes. We've got access to Udemy now. So, um, that's a online, that. yeah, that's an online course. If you're familiar with it, it's yeah. online course related stuff. Um, so you can go in there and take classes that'll help build like skills that you can yes. use personally or also on the job. We've put that on the a link to the to that on our catalog. So if you go to the catalog and you'll see like those e resource links, it's at the top of the pile now. Okay, good mm-hmm. to know. I'm like, we've been paying for a Udemy subscription. Dang it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, cancel that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm canceling that. Wow. That is huge. Yeah, yeah. That one's been added in. So you can go in there and it'll be like Gail and if you coming just from the text share list, it'll like Gail presents Udemy. You won't find it mm-hmm. under U, you'll find it under G. Gotcha. Um, Gail presents Okay, we'll definitely have that in the show notes. So Gail presents and Udemy <laughs> is great, especially for adults um just a little plug for you to me because this is such a great resource to have like Mm -hmm. you any profession or any kind of professional development Mm -hmm. that you want to do like marketing anything i'm i think about marketing because i'm in this role but that is such a wow Mm because it's usually like a 50 dollars a month subscription or 30 there's some it's there's something it's a a monthly subscription thing that you can get access to all I, I'm just always blown away by the resources y'all bring us to this lovely podcast we've been doing. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for a potential part three whenever oh, that yeah, happens. Yeah. I'm sure there's more that we can share about. We, we can keep going. We will oh, yeah. keep going. <laughs> Don't worry. There's more. There's, there's always, always more. more. <laughs> Amazing. Well, again, thank you both so much for the summer reading program. So excited to go to camp this year. Yes. And get some in and out. Oh, get yeah. some good prizes all the things so june 3rd is the Mm -hmm. date you want to remember but again you can always register after june 3rd you don't have to be there you can go on vacation um but yeah that is so exciting so definitely this is a heavy episode with lots of resources so check out the show notes we'll have all the links for everything that we talked about um and just want to again thank you for listening so much to this episode of the my relic podcast i highly recommend following the library on facebook and instagram to stay up to date and also subscribe to y'all's monthly newsletter. There's a lot of information in oh, there yes. as well. Um, and as always, if you have a guest that you want to hear from or a certain topic you want to see um, on the show, please email us at podcast at Have a great day.